What's up everyone? This is going to be a quick and dirty tutorial on float storage. So float storage is a technique that allows you to stay airborne longer when either rolling or running off of a ledge. This technique is primarily used to roll over gaps that were either inconsistent or even impossible otherwise. To store the float, you need to hold B in certain scenarios, such as from after doing a max height jump, being shot out of a barrel, or entering a stage and continue holding B all the way until you roll off of or run off of a ledge. If you let go of B at any point before making it over whatever gap you're trying to get over with float storage, uh, you may not receive the additional airtime that you need and might not make it over that gap, so be careful not to accidentally release B in the process. Um, a few examples of where float storage can be practically applied are, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the video here. First and foremost, Temple Tempest, uh, this extended roll over the gap with the naughty wheel. Uh, notice the input display, we are going to be holding B during the whole time we're doing this extended roll. And that's going to help give us the height that we need and float us over that gap more consistently. Um, another practical application is at the end of Temple Tempest where we use it to consistently get over this gap right here. Um, another big application is in Blackout Basement. We're going to max jump right here to store it, roll through this guy, and do float storage over that gap there. And then we're also going to hold B after this max jump to get over this little gap here consistently. Um, holding B at the beginning of Manic Mincers gives us float storage to get over that gap a lot more consistently. See ya, Rambi. And in Rope Bridge Rumble, we can use it to be a lot more aggressive on this camera manip strat here. By being able to float over that gap more easily, we don't need to wait as long for the camera. Likewise, we can be more aggressive in scenarios such as this, where we need to get over large gaps. So yeah, I would re recommend uh, re-watching those, um, paying close attention to the input display, just you know, notice that B is being held the entire time. Try it out yourself. Um, it's really easy to accidentally let go of B in the process of doing a lot of these strats. So if you're ever, like, failing them and you feel like they should be consistent, um, I would just go ahead and make sure that you're holding B as well. But yeah, that's it.